Now, moving on, right, let's talk about how do you actually insert drawing tools into your chart, like, you know, support resistance, trend line, channel, regression channel, and stuff like that. So this one, right, I want you to focus on, uh, is on this uh, left side over here, the left side of this uh, chart. This is where your drawing tools are located. So the first one is just more of a, you know, uh, the so-called cursor on your chart, whether you're on an arrow, dot, or eraser, or crosshair, it's up to you, right? This one below it is where you can start drawing all your trend line tools, right? For example, you can draw a trend line. Okay, so again, right, just click this arrow. You notice that when I go over it, right, there is this uh, arrow to the right. Click on it, and you can select the different options that you have, right? So if I, if I click trend line, okay, uh, then you just, just draw your trend line. And if maybe you want something different, you can have like maybe a, I don't know, a horizontal line. Okay, you just click on this and there you have it, horizontal line. And one thing to share with you is that you can actually have like so-called a favorite, right? So if you use trend line often, you just click this star over here. Okay, and what happens is that you can see that this thing pops up. So every time you want to click trend line, just click this. You can just draw your trend line, right? You don't have to, you know, go back to the... Uh, the, uh, you don't have to go back to here and find your trend line, right? Because it's already favorite. It's already, you know, at this top. Or maybe you use a uh, support resistance uh, regularly, right? Horizontal line, just favorite it. Again, this will pop up over here. Then just draw your, your support resistance on your charts. And again, right? All these tools, they can be customized, right? So what you want to do is, again, just double-click it. And you can see that you can change the color, the lines, the, 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 the visibility, right? Uh, the coordinates, the style. So okay, play around with this, right? But I think the most common thing that you'll do is probably change the color of your trend line. Maybe you're on black, you're on blue, you're on pink. It's up to you. Okay, same for the uh, support resistance line, right? Just double click. You can actually change the uh, coordinates, visibility, and everything else as well. Okay, so this portion over here is where you draw your support resistance, trend line, channels, etc. And then below it, you have stuff like, you know, the pitchfork, right? The Andrew pitchfork, the, you know, Fibonacci... Fibonacci retracement, uh, Fibonacci retracement from here to here, okay, then you can draw your, you know, uh, pitchfork, uh, I don't really use this, but yeah, let's, let's see, pitchfork, wow, <laughs> wow, this is like, you know, <laughs> some huge laser beam, <laughs> Iron Man, <laughs> oh, wow, okay, so uh, yeah, just play around with it, right, I I'm not sure, what are the tools that you use, but it's probably all here if you need. Again, you can favorite it if those are the tools that you use regularly. Then, uh, for those of you who wants to put in some text, like for example, uh, to kind of like, you know, uh, remind yourself that, you know, this is a key level to be paying attention to, like, you know, text, you can just put in the text, all right? And you can say something like, uh, you can write here, you know, uh, watch out for 1.2 level for long setups. Something like that, right? They just Press OK, this text will appear on your on your chart, right? Maybe I just I just put it over here. Okay, just an example. I know there's no 1.2, it's $80 now, but just an example. Yeah, then uh, over here the text again, right? You can have a call out balloon, a uh, comic strip, like you know, like, like the kind of you know the comic strip pop up, you know, it's up to you. Then you have uh, for those of you who trade uh harmonic patterns, you have the uh, cipher, the ABCD, uh, uh Elliott waves. Triangle pattern, the tree drive pattern, okay, head and shoulders. I think the harmonic patterns it's not here. I think possibly due to a, a trademark or, or or some copyright thing, so they can't just in here put it in. But I think the other patterns, the you can find it all over here to to help you draw those chart patterns. Uh, this one is here, right? Is to uh, I think, yeah, this long position over here. It's uh to help you so called define your risk reward ratio. Let's say for example, okay, let me just. If you want to remove all the charts, all the, the lines, right? Very simple. Just go to here, bottom, click the dustbin, okay? And it's all gone, okay? So let's uh show you this tool. So let's say maybe you want to buy over here, okay? Your stop loss is somewhere here. Maybe target profit at this uh this swing high. You can adjust it over here. So what this tool tells you is that, you know, you have a potential risk to reward of about 1 to 1.02, you can see over here. Okay, so you can see the, the your stop loss, target profit, everything. So this is for the, uh, you know, if you're wanting to go long. If you want to go short, that's the opposite. Uh, you can make some forecasts, you know, having some arrows point up, point down. Okay, so this is pretty much what this tool is about. And this one is all the icons, right? If you want to put it on your chart, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you're any of you are going to use this, but yeah, this is available. Okay, then you have this one over here is to... Uh, 
Okay, measure the number of bars on your chart. So if you don't know how many bars there are over here, just click on this, drag it to the right. Okay, so from left to right, it shows that there are 236 bars, which is a span of 343 days. So this tool kind of you know measure how many uh, bars there are on your screen from one end to the other end. All right, for those of you who are having difficulty seeing, right, just click on this. You can actually zoom in your charts. All right, another tip to actually zoom in your charts, you if your mouse have the uh, mouse scroll, right, you can just scroll, scroll down, scroll up, scroll down, scroll up, right. You will zoom your chart as well. Okay, so that is something to 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 uh, bear in mind. Okay, let me just unzoom this. Let me just delete everything. Okay, so what else? Uh, magnet, weak magnet, strong magnet. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what's that. Okay, so play around with it and and, uh, and figure out for yourself. Uh, stay in drawing mode. Okay, lock all drawing tools. So what this does, I believe, is that you you won't you have no chance to. Uh, okay, I think lock all drawing tools means that you know uh, you won't you won't anyhow move the drawing. For example, right? Let me just explain, right? If I have this, I have this, right? And I click all lock all drawing tools, right? This way, I can't. Uh, shift this anymore so the drawings are locked right so this is good right if you have quite a number of drawings on your chart and sometimes you're scrolling back right and you might accidentally click on one of these drawing tools and, and, and move it along by mistake so this one kind of you know lock everything into place and you don't kind of you know shift it by accident and even if you do shift it by accident and one tip that i have for you is let's say for example you you shift back then this thing happened to move ah what now don't worry right just press ctrl z it goes back to where it was previously, right? So that's one one tip for you, okay? And this tool over here is hide all drawing tools. Maybe you just want to analyze the, the price action, the candlestick. I right, just click hide all this. It'll be gone temporarily for a while. And if you want to bring it back, just click on it. It comes back again, All right? So this is different from the delete one where all this goes to the to the to uh, all the junk, right? You click all this, right? it all goes to the so-called recycle bin, okay? If you just want to hide it temporarily, use this hiding tool over here, okay? And that's how you actually, you know, uh, insert your drawing tools into trading view and one thing that i also want to add is how do you set up your trade alerts right sometimes you know you don't want to be watching the charts all day long right you want to set up an alert and it, let's say price comes to a specific price level it informs you so what you can do is again there are two ways you can just go to alert right you'll come up this box or let's say you draw this area of support over here you can click right click add alert on horizontal line so either way is fine so what happens is that again right this is the settings right so this is the uh the ticker right v right crossing horizontal line only once or once per bar per minute per bar close it's up to you uh you can actually say whether you want this to be expired you will expire by a certain timeline or you'll be there forever again it's up to you right more actions you can do you know play sound send email to sms blah 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 so in this case right what we have right now is crossing horizontal line right so what happens is that if the price okay if i click create right what happens is that if the price were to come down and hit this horizontal line, it will alert me and let me know, right? You'll send me a... Okay, let me just click this alert. Okay, let me just click this one here. Okay. It will send me an email and tell me that V, right? On the 1D, which is the daily time frame, crossing horizontal line. So that's, that's one example, right? You can use horizontal line. You can also use a value, right? Like, for example, a specific price value, like let's say at $140. You can just put this at $140. Okay, you press you press a save what happens is that if the this market on the daily time frame crosses 140 dollars it will send you an alert as well okay so this uh, can be done for forex right across multiple time frames right the concept over here is the same and that's how you actually set a trade alert right so for those of you okay let's say you trade forex right let me just give you an example like two hour time frame right you're working out in the gym you can't monitor what you do is just plot this over here right what you can do is again uh, add alert okay New Zealand yen crossing at this horizontal line, which is this line over here, okay. And uh, exp expiration date, right? If you if you don't want to have an expiration date, uh, you can just put this at you know very very uh, far away, okay. Or oh, I think you leave it open. Nope, I, I can't do this, right? So no thanks. Right, maybe I just put it like a, a day, like maybe one week later, okay. And uh, you'll send me an email, right, when the price hits this horizontal line, right? New Zealand yen, 120 minute time frame crossing this horizontal line. Cre create. Okay, then see this thing will, will come over here. So when the price reaches this line, it will send me an email saying, Hey Rainer, New Zealand Yen, two hour time frame crosses this uh, horizontal line that you have specified earlier. You can send email, can send SMS, again, play around with it. And, and that's it, right? That's how you actually create alerts on TradingView.